Hi folks, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another e-bike review. Um, bit of a different one this one as well, bit of a classic kind of design. Uh, it is still an e-bike, so you've got nice electrical assistance as you go. Um, and this is the U2 City Step Through e-bike um, and it's from a company called iScooter. They call it a classic British design. However, I think it's more of a um, sort of, I don't know, um, something you'd see around Amsterdam, really. Quite a European design, quite like it, actually. Uh, it's very comfy to ride. However, it's sort of quite a budget bike. Although, shockingly, some features on here um, that you don't find on more pricey bikes. Um, so the price is just under £600 for this bike and that includes the battery and everything you see here, uh, the rear rack and the leather seat and the leather um, handle grips and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, so let's go through the spec um, and then uh, we'll talk more about sort of building it and what it's like to ride. Um, so you've got 26 inch wheels by one inch and uh, very comfortable to ride. You've got front suspension and a rear seat post suspension there as well. Uh, you do get disc brakes, front and rear, mechanical disc brakes, so they're not hydraulic. You know, for the price, well, you, you can't really argue with that. Um, you've got a seven-speed Shimano gear set, which you can control via the controls up and down shifter up there. And a 350-watt rear hub motor, which you've also got a throttle assist mode there as well, just to kind of like get you going. Now, what I really like about this, though, is you've got front and rear lights um, that actually operate just off a button. So you can turn the front and rear light on. So normally you don't get a rear light, so that's quite cool. Um, and if you press the brake levers, um, you get a brake light as well. So yeah, lovely little features. Nice rack on the back, mud guards as well to help protect from the British weather. Um, a nice chain guard as well. That's a lovely feature if you're wearing sort of like, you know, flowing clothes, baggy trousers or whatever, it's not gonna get caught up in the chain and you're not going to get oil all over your clothes either. Very comfortable handlebar sort of position. You can obviously arrange this rake and feel and everything as you see fit. Um, you don't have to install the throttle either. That's entirely up to you. Uh, on this side, you have got uh, the controls for, uh, it tells you miles per hour you go in, um, tells you your trip and your speed and everything you've done so far. And you can change the assistance mode, tells you your battery levels, um, and like I say, and on this little control next to it, you've got the light switch on and off. And then next to that, you've got horn. And that's quite a loud horn. It's in the back of the front light. So yeah, it unfortunately is gonna make it louder that way, not that way. <laughs> so you're kind of warning people quite close to you that you come in, but it's better than nothing, isn't it? Uh, I do quite like that though. Um, and like I say, then the brakes as well. So yes, yeah, quite nice. So a neat little trick to get access to the battery. Pull that lever, the seat pops up, and then you can switch the battery off and remove it. Uh, and obviously if you wanted to, you can use the bike just like this. It's still a seven speed city bike, quite lightweight. Um, so once you've removed this chunky battery, uh, which is a 13 amp hour battery, um, obviously it does get a little bit lighter as well. The battery slides along a rail at the back there. So it's kept in nicely and then slots in and then you can turn it back on and lock it back in place. Um, the only thing that I will say is you can't have it switched on and remove the key. So if you switch it off, you can remove the key, but to use it, you've got to have the key in and then you can't remove the key. It locks it in place so no one can steal it. It's not going to fall out. But you do need the key in place to be able to power up and you know use it as an e-bike so a little bit of a downside but quite a few of them are like that you got a nice little indicator on the top here to let you know the battery level 
what the uh, charge state and everything the battery's at. Um, and like I say, you can either remove the battery, take it inside to charge, or charge it on the side there. So that's quite nice. Uh, usual things, you've got kickstand. So if you want to leave it outside the shops or parked up somewhere, you've got a nice little stand on there. Nice pedals. Um, and like I say, front and rear mud guards. Although, what I found is, sadly, as you're pedaling and moving the front mud guard, um, yeah, the, the mud guard hits your pedal or hits your foot um, if your foot is directly in the middle of the pedal. So if you pedal with your toes, you'll get away with it. Um, but if you're like me and you put your foot half across the pedal, then yeah, you are going to hit, unfortunately, the front wheel. I don't know quite how people get away with that. Um, other than obviously just going a straight line all the time. That works quite well too. You got this nice little bracket on the front there, um, which I presume is to install like oh, another rack maybe that goes over the front. So that's quite cool. Uh, as far as the assembly was concerned, um, it was installing the front wheel, which is quick release as well. So you get the spindle separately, you install that through the front wheel and then install the mud guard, the light and the front wheel. And on the back, um, or from this section anyway, it was installed the seat post with the seat on it and then put the rear rack on there um, connect up the rear light. Um, I installed the throttle and connected up the throttle, which is all the cables that are in there um, and put the pedals on. So yeah, it's not that much of an involved, um, you know, sort of setup or unboxing or whatever. It's quite simple uh, to ride the bike as well. It's quite comfortable. Like I say, you've got front suspension and the rear seat post suspension there and the seating position is very, very, very upright. So whilst you're sat on the bike, it's quite comfortable really. Over all sorts of different types of surfaces, it's very stable, the size of the wheels and everything. Um, and obviously the tires are quite thin, but not that thin as well. And the tires they've put on there will be good enough for tow paths as well as city driving on roads on tarmac. Uh, the power delivery is obviously through a 350 watt motor, uh, through the 13 amp hour battery, and you've got five levels of assistance. So five levels of assistance along with seven gears really does mean you get shift in. They're quoting top speeds of about 25 miles an hour. Um, potentially, yes, but as a, just a pottering around sort of thing, um, you know, we were pottering around around about 16, 17 miles an hour, um, felt very stable, uh, very comfortable, not putting that much effort in. Um, and that was using the top level of assistance, level five. Um, so I think you've got to be putting a lot more effort in to get to 25 miles an hour. Um, there was a little thing as well that I did notice that came in kilometers an hour. So yeah, press and hold the M button to power it on and then press and hold the up and down arrow um, to get into the sub menu. Um, and then once you're in the sub menu, it's the first menu option, P01. And you'll see it says mile. And if you press the minus key, you'll see it says KM. So yeah, change it to mile. Um, and then once it's on mile, press and hold the plus and minus buttons again. That'll return to the default menu as in the powered on state. Um, and then it's in miles an hour rather than kilometers an hour. So overall, a really nice bike for not a lot of money with some really nice features and you know they've actually gone out of the way to make it kind of a bit of a retro design as well so thumbs up for that one and um, as usual links will be in the video description down below to get your hands on a bike and if they did give me a uh, a bit of a code to get a discount um, i'll include that in the link as well um, however sometimes when they send the bike out i don't know what if any discount is available so that's why i can't say anything so yeah that is the review of the U2 iScooter City Bike step through frame. And um, yeah, nice, powerful bike. And like I say, a little bit of a cool design touch to it as well. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care, guys. Bye.